I'm like Slick Rick the Ruler and I'm cooler than a Calvin. My mom's name is June. My pop's name is Alvin. Hey, what's up, guys? And, sorry, I was just thinking about how thick this guy was, or at least his top parts, and I was thinking, like, thick brick, and then I was thinking Slick Rick, and that's what got me saying those lines at the beginning, but anyway, welcome back to the program. Yeah, I hope you all doing super duper well, listening to some slow jams, rolling with the riders of Rohan. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, just spouting off. But um, hey, uh, if you guys pay attention to the channel, you you can you know that this is a build that I showed off uh, maybe like a week or two ago. Um, I've had some requests from both uh, YouTube and also IG asking for a breakdown on how to make this guy, and uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Um, I've been I've been fidgeting with him a little bit too much, so his legs are a little bit loose. I got I got to thicken that thing up with like Kiki. You guys know what Kiki is? This is not a sponsored thing, but it's like this. It's like this material that you use to like thicken up toy joints and stuff like that and it goes on like liquid but it dries like school glue you know i'm talking about the school glue the stuff that you can like rub on your hands and it turns into like fake skin when it dries yeah it dries up like that kind of and so you can scrape it off if you don't like it but um that's the back by the way um he has all these other bits that i didn't include um obviously there's um there's his red sword and there's also um, the the shield, the snake shield that I had over here. And I actually had the Optimus gun here, and that was plugged into the Optimus gun. But for the purpose of reducing weight, um, I'm going to have to leave all those things off. Actually, I'm going to take this sword off, too. Yeah. And just like this fool, I need to lose some weight, too, dude. Dude, I got hella winter fluff, dude. I'm super fat right now. Like, Any of you guys have, like, pets? And you guys have pets, like, you know that sometimes during the winter, they get a little bit chubby, you know what I'm talking about? They respond, their body responds to the weather, and they get, like, um, a little bit, like the comedian, uh, what is it, Gabriel Iglesias would say, um, I was about to say Enrique Iglesias, Gabriel Iglesias, the, the guy, Fluffy, you know what I'm talking about, Fluffy? Um, yeah, those an those pets get fluffy, and dude, my ass got super fluffy during the winter, so I gotta go back to the, <laughs> I gotta go back to the gym again, but, okay, I think he's standing up straight, yeah, sorry, I was getting the footing... Right, and so um, I'm not going to touch him right now, but I'm just going to start going over the parts um, then because he's a little fidgety. All right, anyway, anyway, all right, the arms. The arms are super easy. This is just the blade, and this is the foot claw thing, and that's plugged into uh, the blade right there. So, and then you get that, and then you plug that right over there. See, oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Oh, Primus, take the wheel. All right, dude, I'm just going to have to do this piecemeal. But this is this is basically the... Can turn the light off. And the light on. Ooh, that's way brighter. Um, <laughs> yeah, you get it? Axe part, blade part, plugged in right there at the handle, like so. And then you just get that bit, and then you plug it in to the side right here on the forearm. Right? Like so. So I'm going to take both of these off. Um, on the bottom of the feet, as you can see, this one just fell off. This is just the thigh, and you want it oriented like this. One side with the, um, the hole facing up, and one side with the hole facing sideways like that. And then you just plug that into the front hole, because he has two holes. You know, on the bottom of the feet, you want to plug it into the front one. And his, <laughs> it makes his feet kind of gross in terms of, like, the toes are a little bit long, but whatever, right? Um, over here, the two little blaster things that we have on the side... Those are basically made using the the calves of the transmutator Paleotrex figure. And then you pop up one of the pegs inside the uh, inside the calf. You plug the heel into it. You pop this other one up, and that's the one that you plug into the side of the leg. So it looks like that, All right? So we just pop that off here. We'll pop these off as well. Um. These big guns, sorry dude, he's so fidgety, it's really difficult for me to do this right now. These big guns are just plugged into the side of his smokestacks, so we can peel those off. Okay, so now this is the whole special bit thing about him, is that he has this like headdress that you can bring over his face, and that kind of make gives him like this monster look, like those are the eyes. You can pop it up however you want. That's like the the gimmick, the uniqueness of this particular toy, uh, this build. And um, can you guys tell I'm, I'm having a bit of a sugar rush right now? I'm just like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm all like tripping over my words and stuff. 
Uh, but in terms of like how you do that, uh, okay. See this back part? There's two holes. Um, can you see? Oh my God, that's a really bad view. Uh, he has two holes on his backpack, basically, and one of the dino heads is plugged into one. The other dino head is plugged into the other, and sandwiched in the middle is the, the back of the tail. Um, huh. Which makes me think, where's the other one? Oh, 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 it's up here. It's up here. So there's two tail parts, right? The ends of the tail, and then the back of the tail, and here's the other back of the tail up at the front. And I'm going to pop them off in a second, but... Um, and then you just plug those in, basically, and then they form, like, his headdress... But in order to do all that, in order to get the angle right, what you actually have to do is this back bit, you have to leave this out. You have to leave it out because if you close it and it goes flush, then you can't do that head gimmick. It doesn't work. So you need a little bit of that extra. Then you can kind of fold over the mask, right? Okay. So here, I'll just fold it up for now, though. In terms of how to remove this, you can remove the tails from the bottom. And then I would say start by lifting. Man, how do I do this? Oh, okay, that works. Just like that. Yeah, from the top, separate it from there. Then you can pull one off. See, that's the hole right there. And then now that one is off, I can take the other one off completely. Okay, so this is what that headdress, that back piece looks like. Two of the dinosaur bits, robot heads plugged in, spine of the tail, spine of the tail, buckler, and then two of the claw feet things plugged to the side of the dino face. And then using those two pegs, those two pegs, you plug those in. Cha -cha. That's pretty much it, guys. I'm, I'm not gonna put him back together just because he's super so super loose, you know. Well, I'll, I'll stand up. I'll stand up Nemesis Prime though, because I gotta put him back on the shelf anyway. So I still think I need to beef up the legs with some of that Kiki, because um, yeah, he's a little loose. He's a little loose. Um, can I show you guys, for you guys hanging around, can I show you guys some other figures that I have? Actually, I don't have anyone immediately available next to me, or, or if I do, I feel like I've already shown them off in other videos, I'm, and I'm pretty sure I have. So I shall refrain, but I will put Nemesis Prime back in the picture, and just wanted to say... Thank you so much for, for joining me once again. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, I hope life is going well and hope you are living stress-free, friend. Yeah, let's talk again very soon. Another time. Okay.